Okay, so good afternoon everyone. So lots of things we're having today inshallah. Uh, we're going to have a bit of yani, warm up and then we go to the book. Uh, I'm hopeful that you guys are um, yani, kind of uh, watching the videos and uh, doing the exercises that we include in the videos. You stop the recording and then you proceed and stuff like that. This is how people study normally. I'm hopeful that the videos are also beneficial and useful. Uh, okay, so let's start some warm up. Bismillah. This is kind of interesting. So, uh, what do we call the creature here? What's the creature here? It's a what? Yeah, at the end, I'll, I'll give you the marks at the end, not now. Don't ask me. Yeah, okay, Anas. Don't ask me about the marks now. I'll display them like I did the other day. I'll display them on the screen at the end of the class. Let's just focus on the class now, okay? Okay. You're welcome. So what do we have? I, I was asking about the creature that you can see on on the screen what we are uh, it's a b uh, absolutely ahmad is saying it's a b very good uh, okay so what is it that i want you to do i would like you to figure out the words okay can you do that i'll give you a minute because it's easy the first one is done uh, for us uh, just i mean finish them off ahmad all of them and then there is a time for answering, okay, Ahmed, like we always do. Okay, finish them off first. It's okay, it's okay. Um, I, I said finish them off, all of them first, okay. You have ten, finish them off first and then we can do them together. Uh, it's easy, and I'm, I'm, we're not supposed to spend the rest of our lives uh, doing them, obviously, <laughs> because we have lots of other stuff, and also because this is only a warm-up uh, kind of thing. Okay, yalla, go ahead. So the first one is watch, done for us, right? The second one is quickly. Number two is eat. Number three, buy. Four, four, take. Uh, four is what? Four is take. Five is sell. Right? Am I correct? Uh, uh, perhaps six is love. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. We're, we're, we're number six now, which is love. Right? And then after love, you have carry. Yes. And after, uh, after carry, you have meet. And after meet, you have walk. And after walk, you have live. Easy, see? Very interesting, right? So I would like you to also find uh, free time activities in the word snake. This is a snake. The other one was a bee. And this one is a snake. You know what a snake is, right? Okay, so w what does a snake do if you if you hit a snake, if you approach it? What does it do? Let me ask you this question. Does it bite or sting? Does it bite or sting? No, it doesn't bite. Dogs bite. Dogs bite while um, snakes and bees they sting okay so bite for dogs and perhaps cats and stuff okay when we talk about uh, you know uh, bees and snakes and okay we say sting or a fly they sting okay good so I would like you to find activities free time activities things that you do in your free time right 
So are you done? So the first one is what? The first free time activity is what? Okay, let's take them at a time. One at a time. Listen. Uh, uh, say the whole thing. So listen to music. So it's listen to music, right? The second one is what? The second is co collect things. You collect things. The third thing is what? Uh, yeah, what? I, I can hear, yeah, you know. Collecting things and then. Uh, surf the internet. Surf, surf the internet. Very good. And then after surf the internet. After surf the internet, you do what? Are you. You take photos or you take photo and then the last free time activity is what? Or swim. So which of them is your favorite? Which of these free time activities you do in your free time? You yourself, I'm talking about you. Hmm. Okay, swim. Rahaf is saying swim, swim, take food. Okay, let's put it in a system, uh, in a system, in a sentence. So you're going to say what? Are you going to say, uh, like Yara is saying, I am listening to music in, in my free time or I listen to music in my free time? Quickly. So I am listening to music in my free time or I listen Excellent, Yaman um, Fairuz. I listen to music in my free time because this is this these are habits, right? Things that you do over and over again. When you talk about things that you do over and over again, you use the present symbol. You go to the verb and you keep it as is, right? You don't add am is are and you don't add ing. Is that clear? Okay, let's talk about you. Give me sentences about you. Let's talk about your free time activities. You're going to do what? You're going to say what? I, of course I, because you're talking about yourself, right? I, ask me. If you ask me, for example, I'm going to say, I take photos in my free time, right? Or in my free time, I take photos. Good. Uh, Fairuz is saying, I serve uh, the internet in my free time. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. Go ahead. Who else? Who else or what else? Rahaf is saying, okay. What are you? Give me the answer, yeah, Rahaf. Tell me about you. So I swim in my free time. That's good. Uh, you're asking me? Uh, I said it. I take photos in my free time. I surf the internet. Okay, clear. Huh? Let's go somewhere else. We don't have time. Okay. So this is called collocations. No, you don't say Nashwa, Nashwa. We don't say I'm watching TV every day. Okay, remember when we talk about habits. When you talk about habits, you don't use ING. Never. You say, I watch TV every day. Okay, Yara is saying, I write in my free time. Excellent. Um, Ahmad Mansour say, is saying, I go to the gym. Never use ING when you talk about habits. Okay. And your hobbies and your interests are part of your habits, right? Okay, good. Okay, what do we have here? This is called collocations, everyone. Collocations. Collocations are words that always come together. Words that always come together. Okay. It's it's exactly like uh, remember when you uh, when you write on on WhatsApp. Okay. Sometimes you write a word, and the system. Okay, the system gives you the second word, expects the second word, right? Are you getting the idea? Just forget about helping verb and all these kinds of things. Just focus with me, Ahmed, yeah, Ahmed Mansour. Okay, so the collocations are, all, uh, are words that are always used together. Okay. Okay, so what with play, what words can you use with play? What are the possibilities with play? So you play a sport, 
you play a musical instrument this is what I want okay okay so let's start with I play I play what are you going to say I play so what collocates with play I play uh, forget about the time I'm not asking about the, the time now yeah Fairuz. I'm, I'm just focus on the word that comes that always comes with play so I play tennis I play sports I play football right are you getting the idea are you you even play musical instruments like the piano the guitar right these are musical instruments and you play them uh, okay Ahmad is saying I play video games excellent right what else Yeah, I mean, the possibilities are big. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. I I play it. I don't know about this. Uh, I play with my mobile. That's okay, okay, no problem. You know, you can use the word play to uh, to kind of talk about you, uh, I mean, starting something. When I say, for example, play the video. Play the video again. Right, so play the video. Play the video means start the video. Okay, now let's move to like. Obviously, with likes or like, the possibilities are so big. Um, I like it. Uh, I like netting, right? I don't know what. Is, what is that? I like. Okay, so like quickly, like, 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 like. I like spicy food. Can I say that? I like um, uh, I like cola, right? I like coffee. Nice. Okay. So if you're not using a noun, if you're not, if you're using a verb, okay, just focus with me. With like, and after that you'll have don't like. If you're using a verb, so instead of saying I like coffee. You want to say, I like drinking coffee, for example. So, whenever you have like, and you will have a verb after it, make sure that you, you either use to or ing. So, you can say, I like to drink coffee, or I like drinking coffee. I like to listen to music, Ya Amir. I like to. You can never have two verbs in a sentence without ing or to. Okay, so I like listening to music, or I like to listen to music, or I like music. Okay, let's move to I don't like, I don't like. So what is it that you don't like? Quickly. <clears throat> okay, quickly, I don't like. I don't like noise. If you ask me, I don't like noise. Right? Who likes noise? Nobody likes noise, obviously. I don't like <laughs> I don't like kids. Okay. I don't like to to eat at night. Hello, hello. Uh, we are you are good. Uh, Rahaf, I don't like summer. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Anish. Okay, good, clear enough. One more, Fairuz, uh, Dua wants to say something. Okay, okay, let's move. Okay, quickly, this is also uh, part of the warm up, it has taken too long. This is going to be our last. Okay. Okay, so yeah, quickly. Okay, my eyes can, my eyes can, can see absolutely. My nose. What is it that you do with your nose? Uh, my nose can smell absolutely. Smell. Okay, fingers. What is it that you do with your, uh, with fi your fingers? You do what with them? Quickly. 
you touch with them Ex excellent ya ahmed you touch with them your tongue L -l this is tongue <laughs> i'm sorry huh? uh you taste with, uh, yeah, absolutely you taste with your tongue okay ears what is it that you do with your ears yeah yeah they can hear stuff so you can hear with with your ears you can hear h e a r very good let's okay thank you so much okay let's go to the book quickly so where did we stop okay last time we spoke about facts and uh, possibilities right what did we say about them we said that facts are facts they don't change the fact I say the facts and you say them we don't we don't disagree on them we agree on the facts right what, what do we say what do, l l give me a fact can you think of a fact Um, in when I say in Saudi Arabia we speak Arabic isn't that a fact we speak Arabic in Saudi Arabia this is a fact everyone agrees on that right in France they speak French this is a fact okay yeah very good like uh, Nashua is saying in Ramadan we fast this is a fact the earth moves around the sun yeah this is a fact Yadua. is when you talk about facts Yadua, you use present symbol no ing no is like the habits okay uh, what about possibilities possibilities means something that that can change right I mean we we don't have total agreement on it so how do we talk about possibilities options with uh, possibilities we use the word may you use the word perhaps so when you read a text when you read a passage okay okay when we read a passage a text you know what a text is uh, an article and an, an essay okay whenever you have may right whenever you have perhaps whenever you have probably you know that we're talking about possibilities not about facts is that clear okay so reviewing vocabulary go to exercise a so this is exercise a let's me uh, okay so make phrases with one word this is also part of what we call collocations words that are always seen together Hello, go ahead can we uh, this is based on what we have been doing we're talking about media and news okay and these are words that you can hear or see uh, in in the news world or in the media world okay I'll give you a minute to think about them so you have mass media front I don't know specialist demographic advertising market material modern religious and celebrity I give you two minutes for that finish them off all of them first and then we talk about them okay quickly so mass media right front 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 cover which we call I'm somewhere else we call it uh, front page so front cover okay specialist 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 hmm no we don't have special specialist success 
Specialist is from the word special. Remember when we spoke about magazines and we said that there are specialist magazines? Magazines that covers money, magazines that cover sport, that cover sport, magazine that cover politics? No. So I, I would use a specialist magazine with it. Specialist magazine. Okay, demographic. Demographic. Uh, demographic uh, has to yeah has to do with age. I mean you have age groups. When you talk about te teenagers, when you talk about young adults, when you talk about uh, mature people and the elderly, these are called uh, demographic groups, right? Advertising. Advertising. Yeah, advertising space like Fairuz is saying. Okay, so uh, if you're a company, you go and buy advertising space in a newspaper on a, or a magazine or a, perhaps a TV channel, right? Or uh, YouTube or on the internet now. So market, 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 market sector, yes, market sector. Sector here means section or area okay mark market sector material 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 success material success means success that you make and out of this success you may have money you, you buy uh, cars you buy a property and stuff like that so this is material success Okay, modern, modern, quickly, modern, modern, uh, perhaps, uh, no, modern society, how about that, modern society, okay. Let me ask you about modern. What what is the antonym of modern? Antonym means the opposite. Old, very good. So the antonym of modern is old. Okay, good. Let's go to religious. Religious. Religious what? Religious beliefs. Okay? Religious beliefs. Okay, celebrity, celebrity, celebrity. Celebrity lifestyle. Okay, so celebrity, what is a celebrity? Spoke about celebrity last time. So famous people, excellent. So celebrity means famous people and of course they have their own lifestyle and their lifestyle is for the most part expensive right they have expensive tastes and expensive lifestyles okay good Okay, so remember when we spoke about possibilities and we spoke about facts, okay, uh, we said with, with possibilities you have words that indicate that this is a possibility and not a fact. So I would like you to spot them, okay, I would like you to tell me uh, where is the possibility word in every and each sentence. Can we do that? This is exercise C, everyone. So, possibility was. Possibility, like I said, uh, things that may or may not be true. Things that may or may not happen. Right? Okay, good. So, uh, we're starting with dua. Dua is saying may. When I say T, just uh, let me finish, okay? If I'm doing two, you stick to two. Don't go to three yet, okay? So TV advertisements may have a bad effect on children. May. So the word may, like Ahmed, 
uh, and dua are saved. So the word may. Number three, go to three. So what's the word in three? The possibility word is what? No, no. Three we don't have in three we don't have may yeah, Fairuz. In three you have possible, yes. Possible and possibility. It's uh, you know, from um, they come from each other. Possible possible. So it is possible. Okay. If I say something is possible, it means that something is also not possible, right? So this is possibility. Okay, four four four. 444 four, four. may absolutely okay dua uh, may <laughs> okay thank you dua dua okay five <laughs> uh, okay may may not okay five is may or may not uh, very good thank you so much is that clear everyone I'll, I'll keep the possessive adjectives until later. We're not in a hurry about it. Okay. Uh, okay. So what, what, what do we have here? So we're talking about teen magazines. You know what a magazine is, right? We spoke about specialist magazines, right? We spoke also about, you know, um, perhaps age age based magazines. So teen magazines is about what teens are interested in. So give give me what's teens? Who are the teens? Which demographic group are we talking about? I, when we talk about teens, are we talk about? Uh, do we talk about children? Teens, teens are children. No, teenagers. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. So teens magazines. Okay. So um, okay. So what I want you to do is, I would like you to complete each sentence with a verb from the box in the correct form. Now go ahead. Okay, so you're going to take words from the box and put them where they belong. Can we do that? Absolutely. Yes, we can. <clears throat> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, Rahaf. Rahaf, if you have a problem, you may want to go out and come back. If she cannot hear us, you can type that to her. Yeah, you can type to Rahaf asking her to go out and come back. Perhaps that would solve or fix the problem. Okay, let's do them quickly. Okay. So in 1881, a man called George Nonens published the first uh, real magazine. So in recent years, publishers particular groups with their magazines. In recent years, publishers, publishers are those who publish magazines, the owners of magazines. So in recent years, publishers, particular groups, they do what with these groups? They want what from these groups? They, remember when we spoke about target audience, target audience. So in recent years, publishers target particular groups with their magazine. They target them, it means they, they become their targets. They want to reach them so that uh, they can, um, you know, buy their uh, stuff. 
some magazines nowadays to people in particular jobs some magazines nowadays Uh, but we're going to say pay for two. Can I say that? Yeah, um, some magazines nowadays pay for two. No, so you need a verb that ends with two. You don't say sell to, uh, you may say uh, appeal to. Okay, appeal to means uh, uh, these people like it. Okay, so some magazines nowadays appeal to people in particular jobs. Those people in particular jobs like them. They go and, and uh, buy them. Publishers hope their magazines are particular market section. Publishers hope they have a hope that their magazines okay attract attract a particular market sector then then they advertising space in the magazine they pay five like uh, do I is saying they pay they pay for advertising space uh, no uh, if they are publishers they sell they sell advertising space in their magazines and their magazine so the production of a magazine by the advertising the production of the magazine No, you're getting it wrong. The production of a magazine will be paid for by the advertising. So advertising, uh, you know, kind of funds the production of the magazine. So the appearance of each magazine and its contents, the interests of the target audience, the the appearance of each magazine and its contents, the interests of target audience. So the content should it should go with the interests. So what what is the word that that is similar to go with? Match, excellent fellow. Match the interests of the target audience. Okay, eight. Magazines, the readers in a very powerful way. Magazines. Okay. No. Oh, how about the word influence? They have an effect or an influence on people. So magazines influence the readers in a very powerful way. It is possible that they them to buy certain things. This is the word that we need, Ahmed. Persuade is nine. It is possible that they persuade, convince, uh, or get. Uh, it is possible that they uh, persuade them to buy certain things. And finally, do people want a lifestyle because their magazine at every month? Do people want a lifestyle because their magazine it every month? Uh, the word that we still have is feature. Feature means contain. So do people want a lifestyle because their magazine feature it every month? Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay. But this is a text. Um, I think you can see it. Is it clear enough? Can you see the text? Oh, 
No, no, it's not, eh? Can you see it now? I think you can see it now, right? Okay. So what I want you to do is, I would like you, like we always do, you have a text, and the text is normally made up of words, right, and paragraphs, and it is also made up of pictures or graphs, right, or visuals. We call them visuals. So if you have pictures, this is visuals. If you have graphs like by graphs and line graphs, we call all, we, we also call them pictures. And you also have the title of the article or the text, right? So before you read the text, before you read the article, okay, you need to look at the pictures. You need to look at the title. You need to look at whatever words are written in, in, in bigger fonts. And then you put them together and come up with predictions. You try to predict or expect what the text will be about. Okay, and then you go to the text itself. Okay, so can we do that? Okay, so before you read the text, okay, the, the text can be a, a paragraph or can be an essay or an article, right? So what do we have here? Do we have a paragraph or a, or a, a complete article? I'm asking you. Is it an article? Art an article is like an essay. Is it an article that we're having? Yes, we're having an article, which means you have more than one paragraph, right? Okay. So are you going to, to, to read the article right away? So uh, in terms of numbers. So number one is what and number two is what? You start with what? So number one, t uh, one is what? Looking at the visuals, right? Look, looking at the title, looking at whatever is bold-faced or uh, big with bigger fonts, right? And then you go to the article number two, right? So we're in number one now. We're looking at the pictures, right? Can you see pictures? How many pictures can you see? I'm asking you quickly. How many? Only one, right? Okay, good. And what do they tell you when you look at the pictures? Can you make expectations about the text? So what are we having? Where are they? Yeah, they are shopping. Okay, so different kinds of shopping, but obviously they are exclusively shopping for what? They are shopping for clothes. I'm not sure if this is going to help the text because it's uh, you okay. Hi. Look at look at the I mean the girls, right? We have two girls, right? Let's talk about their demographics. Dem which demographic group are they? Which demographic group are they? Are they children? Are they teens? Are they young adults? Are they, are they, yeah, excellent. They are teens or teenagers, like Yara is saying. Okay. Okay. So let's move to the title. The title is Teen Magazines, right? Can you see the title? And then under the title, you have Are They Selling a Lifestyle? This is Okay, you, you normally have a big title and a small title. What do we call the small title? We call it subtitle. Can you read the subtitle for me? Read the subtitle, the subtitle to me, please. What does it say? The subtitle. Yeah, excellent. Are they selling lifestyle? Excellent. Good. Okay, so put them together. Put the picture and the title and the subtitle together and tell me what kind of expectations you have. What do you think the article is going to be about? Based on, on the title and on the pictures and everything. Make expectations. 
Uh, Fairuz is saying maybe it's, it's about, about teens fashion. Yeah, perhaps. <coughs> Anybody else? Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, perhaps it's about shopping for teens. Yeah, uh, Nashwa is saying that. Okay, now go to the article. Now it's time that we started reading the article. I'll give you three minutes for that. Okay, go and read the article, please. Okay, you guys have three minutes from now. Okay. Uh, if you're done, please type four. Four if you're done. Okay. So Ahmed and Magid and Fairuz. Okay. So what did you understand, if any? And I don't have high expectations because, like I told you, you're you're only reading it for the first time. Okay. And. First reading is generic reading, where you, you try to get um, an overall idea, right? And then you keep the details for perhaps the second reading, right? But don't worry if you're not coming out with a lot of ideas. It's okay. I understand. And, uh, but at least you have come up with something, right? So what is this something that you came out with? Um, this is my question. Uh, however little it is, it's okay. Just okay. Fairuz is saying the that the interests of teenagers. Okay, that's good. Uh, perhaps. Um, uh, Ahmed, Ahmed Nagib wants to say something. We'll wait for him. Okay, he stopped, obviously. Okay. So, obviously, the, the, the text or the article is... Uh, it is true that it is about the interests of teenagers, but obviously there is more to, to the article than the, just that, right? What else did you understand? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That I understand and I appreciate. Yes. So we're talking about teen magazines. For, for whom? Obviously, we're not talking about boys and girls. We're, we're only talking about what? Teen magazines for girls, right? Uh, and the focus is on what country? Uh, they, they obviously conducted surveys and questionnaires, right? UK, very good, excellent, nice. Yeah, Cretan, yes. So, uh, they, w what is it that they are saying? They are, say they are saying that at the beginning, there was a big interest in teen magazines. But what happened after that? There was a decline. Wh what is a decline? If there is, uh, let me ask, I'll, I'll give you an example. Decline is moving up or moving down? If you have a decline, you're moving down. A decline in prices means, if I said that there is a decline in prices, it means down, yeah, Ahmed. It means that the prices are going up or going down, are high or low. If there is decline, we talk about low, we talk about down, okay? So again, so there is a decline in uh, teen magazines sellings or sales. Teens are not reading teens magazines anymore. Why? Is he giving answers to this question? Why? Is there a decline? Is that a member? Does it mean, let me put it this way, uh, Fairuz is saying they are interested in electronic, yeah, very good. So decline or the sales are, are going down. Uh, does not mean that pe that teens do not read anymore. They read, but like uh, Fairuz is saying, they read electronic magazines. What do we, what do we, from the text, what do we call those electronic magazines? They have a name. They have a name, right? I'm looking for the name myself. Yeah, e-zines, like Ahmed is saying, e-zines. Yeah, very good. So e for electronic and zines for magazines. Yeah, not nice. Okay. Okay. So this is how people read texts, right? It's about engaging with the text, trying to uh, kind of hold a conversation with the text so that you can understand it. Okay, and I'm stressing the fact that uh, um, for lack of time, we uh, and we could have read the text so many times, and in this case, you would feel at ease, and you can come up with as many ideas as you possibly can. But of course, we 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 cannot uh, afford the luxury of re like reading it two or three times. But uh, we're we're learning together how to kind of unpack a text, how to break it down to its basic components. When you do that, you understand it. Okay. So what else did I want to talk about here? So I, I would like you, when you go home, I would like you to read it on your own. Okay. So these are the words that we have seen in the text. I'd like you to look at them. And if you need help with any of them, we can always. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I mean, after after you finish from here, yeah, virus. Uh, like I said the other day, uh, excuse my cognitive 
thick line movements. Are you familiar with this uh, concept? You know, cognitive decline. When people uh, get old, like myself, they have this cognitive decline. When I mean, they forget about things, they confuse stuff. Uh, excuse my uh, <laughs> cognitive decline moments. Anyway, so these are the words: decline, easing, fall, flip, uh, peak, promote, reflect, rise, sail, self-image, sell, the Western world. Okay, before we start, remember I spoke about the word decline. Okay, and we said that decline means going down or low, right? The opposite of decline is the word rise. So you either rise, you have a rise, which is something moving up, or you have a decline, which is something that you go down with. Um, I'm, I'm stressing them because we, we use them a lot in writing, especially when you write about if you have, uh, for example, uh, a pie gra a graph or uh, any of those uh, or line graphs, you have, uh, you know, trends going down, declining or uh, uh, rising. Okay. Right. What other words that you guys need help with? You know, promote. The word promote. It has a commercial uh, and a business meaning, and it also has. Uh, uh, you know, an ordinary meaning. So, commercial meaning or uh, the business meaning, well, you know, like promotion. This is a promotion, right? So, promotion means when you try to sell something, uh, perhaps at a lower price, when you give offers. But this is called promotion. You promote a product by selling it at uh, perhaps a lower price, right? Uh, okay, or uh, sometimes you give it for free, right? Okay, and then we move to the other meaning of the word promote. Promote ideas means that you make sure that people understand something the way you want them to understand it. You spread information or knowledge in a certain way so, so that people uh, um, embrace uh, uh, them or adopt them. Okay, so uh, let's move to uh, reflect. Reflect when uh, the uh, it's from mirrors. You know, when you have a mirror and you have your face reflected on the mirror, you see yourself. But this is a reflection. Okay. So when you have values and those values are reflected in in the way you behave. You have values. Remember, you you are honest. Okay, so a reflection, you are honest. You are God abiding. You pray and all these kinds of things. And this reflect or is reflected in your behavior. Okay, which means that you treat people nice. You have a smile on your face. You never lie. Okay, this is a reflection of your values. For example. Okay, what else? Self-image is how you see yourself. Self-image. Right? Image, picture. Right? Okay. And self-image is how you see yourself. Flip to change. Okay, you fl flip channels. Uh, if you have a remote con controller and you're watching something, you flip or switch from one channel to another. Peak. Peak means the top of something. Okay. When I say that sales reach their peak in summer, everybody uh, goes and buys stuff in summer. Peak, it reach its top. Okay. That's it. Let's move somewhere else, guys. No time. Alhamdulillah. We're... Okay, uh, this can be a warm up exercise next time. Knowledge quiz.
Okay, so we're moving to the writing section. And this is what they call, uh, you know what research is. You know what you did in the TMA? This is called research. You went to the internet, you consulted books, you spoke to me, you spoke to your colleagues, right? This is called research. Okay, so research you do, you, you do research before the TMA or after it? Before the assignment or after it? I'm asking you. Before, of course, right? Can, can you write a TMA or an assignment without research, without doing research? No, never, right? You have to do some research, okay. When you do research and you get ideas from others, whether the, those others are websites or people, what do you do? Because this is what I have seen. People take stuff as is in the TMA, and I feel very frustrated, by the way. I'm not happy. Lots of you have taken stuff as is from the website to the, to the TMA, and this is bad, right? So you read a lot, but when... When you write the TMA, you write using your own words. And you mention and say, yeah, I, I got that from this or that website. Okay, not what I have seen. What I have seen is very frustrating. Copy, paste, copy, paste. This is called plagiarism, right? We spoke about plagiarism before and we said that plagiarism is bad, right? Is plagiarism bad? You know what plagiarism means, right? Okay, so plagiarism, we're moving to the final. Okay, and if, if I see that in the final, I'll give you a zero. Uh, you may say, um, we didn't know, uh, we're not trained. Now you're trained, right? You know that plagiarism is bad and haram. If you copy in the final, you will get a zero, I promise you. Okay? Anyway. Yeah, you mentioned them, yeah, Abdel Fattah, but you give me the stuff as is. You don't change nothing. And I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about lots of people. No, this is not how we do research. Uh, like I said, uh, you now know how to do it. If you keep doing it in the final, that would be a problem. We're giving you the benefit of the doubt because this is perhaps your first experience. Okay? Anyway. So a research report flow chart. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's why it's, it's all the, the NASA website and you go and copy and paste. Right, it's okay. Just uh, we we're learning from our errors and mistakes. It's okay. Just take it easy. Uh, I'm still proud of you. You're doing an excellent job. But Yanni, think about what I'm saying. This idea of plagiarizing is is not good. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So match the beginnings and endings of the sentences below. Okay, so you have words, and these words are in, in italics. They are slanted or leaning on one side. So he, he wants you to match the first column with the second one. 
um, you once you uh, obviously the second column has the meaning of the uh, uh, the words that are in italics so can we do that so match the beginnings and endings of the sentences yeah we can do it think about it think about it I'll give you perhaps a minute Okay, ready? Okay, so let's take them one at a time. So, students on university courses often have to So obviously after two you need a verb. Look for a verb, right? So students on university courses often have to conduct primary research. Yeah, that's good. Okay, conduct. One common type of research in investigates. One common type of research investigates what? You need a noun. No, you don't investigate a survey. One common type of research investigates. Investigate means looks, look into something, study something. Yeah, people say like, like, excellent, like Dua is saying. So one common type of research investigates people's habits or their opinions. So, investigate means looks into something or studies something. Okay? This kind of research is called, what do we call this kind of research? We call it a survey, like Fairuz is saying. Yeah, that's good. A list of questions called a questionnaire is... is the best way to conduct a survey. So follow the flow chart in figure one to conduct follow the flow chart in figure one to conduct this kind of research. It's as if he, uh, somebody is talking to us and he's talking to us about how to write a piece of research okay so what is it that people do okay as students you conduct research or primary research how and the the, the most common type of research that you have at universities would be about people their habits and stuff like that okay and this kind of research is called a survey you 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 make a survey we spoke about surveys before right and you have seen it um, and when you do survey one way of doing survey is to uh, to have a questionnaire remember questionnaire from the word question right you have a number of questions yeah yeah I know you have a number of questions they ask you do you agree? Do you, uh, you 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 tie? You normally tick, agree, totally agree, not agree. But this is called a questionnaire, okay? And this is part of the survey. Uh, and this is uh, before exam, before the final exams, you have to fill out the questionnaire in order to move to the next page on elements, for example. Okay. 
So these are the words that we uh, uh, normally use when we talk when we talk about surveys and when we talk about research. Wait, wait. Can you see them? So, look at these words and tell me which of them you need help with. You have words like appendix, choose, uh, conduct, convert, design, flow, chart, habit, investigate, participant, pipe chart, primary research, questionnaire, raw data, second research, and survey. Mm. Uh, let me choose for you. Let me choose words that I think are uh, difficult. Okay. Survey, we know, we know what a survey is. Right? So um, I need to know whether you like the course or not. Okay, what do I do? Come here and ask you? No. Okay, uh, I make a questionnaire. I put a number of questions. Okay, and then for example, uh, uh, the teacher, and then uh, agree. Uh, okay, or let's say like, don't like, hate, uh, uh, or I don't know. Uh, the material, the book. Uh, like, don't like, for example, the course in general, like, don't like, the audio, the video, okay? And then, after you tick, uh, you give me the questionnaire. Everyone uh, has a copy of the questionnaire. I, co I collect them. And then I start checking how many people liked the course and how many people didn't like it and how many people want change or how okay you when i send you the questionnaire to fill out you become or we call you a participant so how many people do we have in this class perhaps we have 50 now we have 27 right i send you a questionnaire now and you fill it so how many participants do i have How many participants do I have? 27. 27 participants. Yeah, very good. Okay. And then, uh, after I finish, and I have numbers. Let's say, for example, 7 people like the class. 8 people don't like the class. Uh, perhaps 10 people don't know okay they are undecided they don't know whether they like it or not okay what do I do after that I make a report I make a report right and then uh, even before I write the report I can go to Excel, you're familiar with this Word Office uh, tool, you go to Excel and then I change the numbers into graphs. Remember the pie graph that you had in question 3 uh, of the TMA? Right? I'm asking you. Okay. You remember it, good. Remember there were graphs inside? Remember what kind of graph we had? Was it a line graph or what? Uh, last time I introduced you to the different types of graphs. It was a pie graph like Malak is saying. A pie graph, right? So I make a, a pie graph or a line graph based on the numbers, right? And then I write a report. 
like the report remember the report that that you wrote in uh, question three when you said that 32 percent use uh, their mobiles and uh, perhaps my 10 percent do i don't know what right this is research okay what you uh, this was a survey that we turned into a pie graph and we also turned uh, into a a report are you getting the idea So the flow ch chart that you have seen is also the pie graph. Okay. So convert. The verb convert is to turn something into something else. This is what you exactly did in question 3 of the TMA. You converted the pie graph into what? I'm asking you. In question 3 and the TMA, you converted you converted the pie graph into into I'm asking you you converted the pie graph into into a report into a report that that is made up of paragraphs right some some of you wrote only one paragraph and others wrote more than one paragraph Is that clear? Okay. So people who do research or conduct research, sometimes they use pictures and they use uh, uh, lots of items, but they cannot inc include these pictures or those other items in the report. What do they do them? The, what do they do with them? They take them to the appendix. The appendix is a part at the end of the report where you put uh, uh, the things that you you couldn't include in in the in the main report. Mulhaqat, we call it mulhaqat. Right? Is that clear? Okay. Okay. So whenever you conduct research, you have to follow a pattern. You check how people do research and then based on what you see, you also do your stuff. So read read the advice below. Somebody is giving advice as how you can conduct research, as how you can conduct a survey. Okay. So what are what are uh, the pieces of advice that he is giving? The first one. Um, how how do you give advice by by using must or should when you give advice you say you say you should or you must should right okay so you should choose participants carefully the first advice is or the first piece of advice is that you should choose participants carefully okay the second piece of advice is you should convert the room data into percentages okay i collected data okay i sent you the questionnaire after the class and i said please fill the questionnaire out and bring it back to me or give it to him back to me send it back okay and after I finished, I found out that 10 people liked the class. Five people didn't like the class. Uh, th another 10, another 10 uh, are undecided. They don't know whether they liked it or not. So this is called 
data right 10 5 10 right this is called data and this is called row data row means like raw material when something is not processed yet. when something i mean you didn't do anything about uh, with it yet you know you know food when it is raw when food is raw it means that you have the fish not cooked yet you have the rice not cooked yet okay can can you eat it can you eat raw fish raw rice no so you have to process it you have to cook it right yes very good so the numbers that I have taken from you uh, 10 people liked uh, 5 people didn't 10 people are undecided this is called raw data or data okay so I take them and I turn them into percentages okay <clears throat> okay so you should put the other information in an appendix at the end so like I said whatever information I cannot include in the report I put it at the end of the report there is an area that we call appendix is that clear okay good So can you see a questionnaire here? There is a questionnaire. Can you see it? No. Can you see this questionnaire? You see how it is formatted? You see the numbers? One, two, three. No. This is called the questionnaire like we agreed. Right? Uh, okay I would like you to look at the questionnaire look at the questionnaire first very closely and then answer the questions on the questionnaire and answer these questions they are related to the question if you understand if you understood uh, um, if you understand the, the, the questionnaire very well you can answer the question. can we do that yes we can is it clear enough? Can you see it? Hello. Can you see it? Yes, you can, right? So study the questionnaire first, the blue part, the questionnaire. And then after you have finished, go to the questions and give me F for false or T for true. You guys have three minutes.
okay so now now that we have studied the questionnaire if we have studied the questionnaire well we will be able to answer uh, those questions about the questionnaire or on it yeah let's do it so there are four questions do we have four questions no if you calculate them or count them one two three four five six we have six questions right okay all of all of the questions have four categories all of the questions this is false why yeah why I'm, I'm asking why why did you say because a number if you look at number six for example it has only three like Fairuz uh, and uh, Afatah uh, are saying so number six has only three categories good so 20, 20 participants took part in the survey 20 part do we have 20 participants definitely they are not they are not 20 look at the biggest number that we have the biggest number is what Eighteen, very good. Yeah, the biggest number is eighteen. Yes. So, twelve participants use television for entertainment. Is that correct? True. Yes. Yes. The majority of the participants. Majority. Give me. Give me a synonym for the word majority. Give me a simple word for the word majority. Wait. So the majority of the participants, so majority means no, majority means most, which means in terms of percentage, we would say 90%. If we talk about the majority of class, you were talking about 90%. Okay, but if we talk about 10%, this is a minority. Are you getting the idea? So majority means 90%, while minority means 10%. Okay? So the majority, which means the 90% that we have, the majority of the participants mainly watch television in the bedrooms. This is this is correct yes yes television usage has stayed the same in the last year for most of the participants this is this is correct yes this is true absolutely very good okay this is quite related to, to what I'm talking about. Go to the bottom of the page. Can you see these words? Exercise number two. A few, all, half, many, most, none, some, and the majority. These are words that you use with, with surveys. Okay, you count the number and you say, uh, if if you don't have so many people, you say a few. If you have all the people, you say all. If you have 90%, you say majority. If if you you have a number and it's not, uh, I mean, it's many, it's many. I don't know how to accept it. So most is like the majority. None, it mean, means zero. And some is some. Okay, if you have... Uh, uh, if you were expecting 20 and 5 or 6 uh, participated, but this is some, right? Are you getting the idea? 
Okay. I think he's showing us something. Can you see that? I think he's showing us something. Can you see that? But these are of course pi, pi graphs or pi charts and you're familiar with them. Yes. I mean, he's trying to show you, um, yeah, but perhaps how to use uh, those different uh, words. But let's let's look at them and see how we can do them. So, w which of them is going to be all? All is number what? It doesn't uh, or figure what? I, um, yes, I, I don't see. Fame. Can you see five? No. Yeah, six is the closest, right? Okay. Okay. So where can you see none? None, which is obviously the opposite of all. Where I don't see it. Figure three. Uh, it depends. Uh, obviously, it depends on 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 what he talks about. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. One friend. Yes. Okay. Right. Uh, you're 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 clear on that. Okay. I'm not going to go into details about it. Perhaps we can save the time for something else. Okay. Right. So these are the words again, if you need any help with them. So analyze, findings, form, majority, method, participant, rise, rose, risen, stay the same, take part in, and your search. Any, any challenges with any of them? So what is to analyze? And from analyze, you have the word analysis. So you have the, the questionnaire, and you have the numbers, and you started to deal with the numbers, and you change them into percentages. And then you started to talk about them, and you say five of them did this, and so 10 um, did that. This is called analysis. OK? When you describe something and perhaps give your views on them, this is called analysis. Findings from the word find. And what is find? To find something, findings means results. You know what results are? Outcomes. Okay, are you getting the idea? Results or outcomes are findings. And then you have the word form or form, form. Okay, so form is, you know, the questionnaire is written and this is called a form. You know, whenever, for example, you want something from the university, they, uh, they tell you, please fill out this form. For example, your, uh, what? You want to withdraw from this course. You don't want to complete this course. But you go to the student affairs and they ask you, yeah, it's like an application like Abu Fattah has said. It's an application which means that you have something already there with them 
and they send it to you or you, they give it to you and then you fill it out this is called a form okay method means a way of doing something method take part in something participate in something become part of something like if, if we have a questionnaire and you do it it means that you take part in it okay you become a participant clear okay and here is a questionnaire now this is a survey a complete survey and this survey is obviously based uh, yeah this is the report and this is the graphs this survey is of course like I said is based on a questionnaire conducted earlier okay uh, I'm interested in the words okay okay so rise you go up decline you go down if you still remember these words okay so what is it whenever we talk about surveys we talk about um, you know percentages 5% 10% 90% this is of course based on the number of participants and what they say and okay so let's turn these words into percentages when I say a few of the participants I mean how many uh, the percentage is how is uh, what is the percentage when I say all of the participants of course it's 100 percent right when I say most of the participants when I say none of the part yeah can we give can we get percentages yeah let's do it yes we can so let's let's talk about the most uh, you know the clearest of them all let's start with the easiest the easiest would be none right none of the participants decibels so turn it into a percentage what are you going to say so none of the, pers uh, the, the participants is going to be hmm zero percentage absolutely yes um, when I say most of the participants most so what percentage do we have most of the participants ninety percent can I can I change can I change most of the participants? Remember the word that we used, or the phrase that we used earlier, for most. Excellent, Fatah. We said the majority of excellent. Okay. Half of the participants. So. What percentage are you going to use with half? Half of the participants. Half. Excellent, Yara. 50%. Ahmed and Yara, thank you so much. A few. What are we going to say with a few of the participants? A few.
perhaps 20% or 15% uh, or yes some of the participants so some is obviously perhaps uh, fewer or less than a few no I'm not sure some of the participants is uh, perhaps it can also be 10 or 15 okay clear huh? So, what is it that uh, people should consider when they design a questionnaire? So, a written questionnaire is a good way to collect information for research. Okay. Follow these steps to design good questionnaires. Okay, one good piece of advice would be that you ask specific questions, not general questions. Specific means that you are very particular. You ask a question that is to the point. So don't say, for example, how much television do you watch? Don't say how much. Say how many hours. How many hours is more specific. Because he can give you, when you ask him how much, he, he wouldn't give you an exact number. Right? But when you ask him how many hours, he's going to say 20, 50, 5. Right? Which is, uh, I think, um, more uh, yeah, uh, which is way better of course so collect information into categories it means that you write categories so that you can make it easy to the participants so imagine you ask the question in number one above the participants may answer so if you don't category if you don't put categories one two three four so you will have a lot of uh, answers and those answers are perhaps what what you don't want so quite a lot about five or six but if you say for example um, from zero to ten so you'll have people taking this from ten to twenty you have people taking this from twenty above okay see so you organize things for the, um, the taker of the questionnaire or the participant. Make a category for every answer. Okay. You make categories, three or four, depending on how you design the questionnaire and what uh, questions you have in mind. Okay, so these are words also that we uh, use whenever we talk about questionnaires and surveys. So you have the verb, access, exactly, just over, just under, nearly, none, over, uh, under, okay. So these are also words that you use with questionnaires and surveys.
and then using a tally chart remember so I don't know whether you're familiar with that so you you put you don't put numbers you put I don't know how they say it you're familiar with tallying stuff when you play a game for example and you start to one and then two you put you don't write two you put another one and then you put another one you put another one but this is called tallying uh, they use it in surveys uh, they find it uh, perhaps uh, more accurate so record answers onto a tally chart uh, these are the tallies okay. put a and then the tally sign for each answer and after four put a line across the four slashes okay in order to make it five and then start again with the tally the one sign okay are you familiar with that and like we said after that you turn row data or data into percentage or percentages okay So imagine, imagine you ask 20 people a question and the formula for a percentage is you have the number divided by total number uh, multiplied by 100. Okay. Let, let's do let's do that with your uh, your TMA because one of the students came to me and said I got uh, 42 42 something out of 50 and uh, you should I mean, raise the mark it's not good and stuff and I asked her to go and convert into it into percentage and see how much she's scoring in terms of percentage okay so let's do it perhaps she doesn't know how to calculate right okay so what are we going uh, yeah now I would like you to appreciate the mark the marks that you're given okay so let's 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 go to Fairuz so what was your score of Fairuz? How much did you get? Yeah, 46. So Fairuz is going to write, do it Fairuz now. So you write the number. Okay. Divide the number by 50, right? So you're going to write 40, 46, right? Divided by, divided by 50, right? Multiplied by 100. So what is your score? This is how people uh, calculate the percentage. 92 okay so uh, let's do let's do this one uh, Fairuz and everyone 42.5 so you're going to say 42.5 divided by 50 right times Wait, wait, Let, um, Ahmed, let's finish the number that, I, this is an exercise, okay? So again, we're, we're doing, we're converting or uh, converting 42.5 into a percentage. So again, you, you we're going to put the, put the number, which is 42.5 divided by 50 times 100 what's the result 
what is the percent Eighty-five. Okay. Is that clear? Can we have so, somebody else? Let's go to Ahmed Nagib. To Ahmed Nagib. Forty-four point five. Let's do it. So you have the number divided by fifty times one hundred. Now we don't say degree. You you perhaps you want to ask about your mark or grade, Yanashwa. This is called mark or grade, no degree. Degree is what you're going to get when you inshallah graduate at the end. We'll give you a certificate. Okay, and it will say, for example, that you have a degree. In business, you have a degree in IT. Just wait. If, if I'm talking about something, I don't want people to interfere and talk about something that is irrelevant. I'm not done yet, okay? So you know now how to turn numbers, mere numbers, into percentages. And this is, again, this is one of the things that you are required to do if you're conducting research and if you're writing a research report. Okay, so now that you have the percentages, you also need to display them as a pie chart. We're familiar with pie charts. So what do pie charts do? Pie charts show the relationship, excuse me, show the relationship between the categories. This is the most important information. Okay, um, I'll stop on this note and with this item.